Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I want to share with you uh, one recent uh, important uh, update in a lifecycle library. Now, uh, this uh, update uh, is important because uh, it will provide us a way uh, not to waste uh, our resources when observing a state flow. And uh, I'm going to show you a real example in uh, just a moment. Now, uh, this uh, update uh, comes with a version of uh, 2.6.0 alpha 01. And with this version, uh, there is a new extension for a state flow and flow uh, that is called uh, collect as a state with a life cycle. Now, this uh, collect as a state with a life cycle uh, will allow us to collect from flows and represent uh, its latest value as a composed state in a life cycle aware manner. Now, this flow is uh, collected and the new emission is set to the state's value when the life cycle is at least in a certain uh, life cycle state. Now, uh, when the life cycle falls below a life cycle state, then the flow collection stops and the state's value is uh, not uh, updated. So here we have read the official uh, documentation for this extension, and now I'm going to open up my Android Studio project and actually show you a real example of uh, how this collected as a state with a life cycle uh, will work. So, uh, in my Android Studio project, uh, I have just uh, one uh, composable screen, and inside that uh, screen, I'm basically observing uh, one uh, variable or a value from our uh, view model. And every time that value changes, uh, then we are going to print that uh, value in our launched effect block. Now, this is our uh, main view model. So, here we have one uh, cold and one uh, hot flow. So this is a flow builder, uh, which uh, will basically uh, emit a single number each and every second, right? And down below, I have created uh, one more variable to convert this uh, flow into a state flow. Also, this uh, state in function accepts uh, multiple parameters, from which uh, the first one is the actual scope, uh, the second one is a uh, started, which represents the strategy that controls uh, when sharing is started and stopped, so this parameter is uh, quite important. And uh, I have specified here a while subscribed, so with this uh, while subscribe function, a uh, sharing is started when the first uh, subscriber appears and immediately stops when the last uh, subscriber disappears. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to show you the regular uh, composable function, which is called uh, collect as a state. And after that, I'm going to show you this uh, new collect as a state with a life cycle, so you can see the difference. So I'm going to run this application now, and we're going to observe this uh, actual uh, launched effect. So as you can see, uh, when I uh, launch this application, we are basically collecting uh, each and every number uh, from our uh, main view model, okay? So we have 9, 10, and so on. Uh, now let's just uh, move this application in the background. And as you can see, we are no longer able to uh, see those uh, numbers uh, that we are collecting, right? So the last number which we have collected in this case uh, was a 15. Now I'm going to try to open up this application once again. And you will see that we're going to continue here. Let me just uh, stop this for now. So the last number uh, which we have seen before we have uh, put our application in the background was 15. And uh, after a couple of seconds, we have opened that uh, application again, back from the background, and the value that we have printed is uh, 28. So what is this telling you? Well, it's telling you that uh, our collect as a state uh, composable function will basically uh, waste uh, our resources even if our application is in the background, okay? So this collect as a state was uh, collecting those uh, numbers even when our application was in the background. However, uh, now I'm going to show you uh, what will happen when we are using this uh, collect as a state with a live cycle composable function. Also, if you want to use this composable function, uh, be sure to have this uh, dependency, a uh, live cycle runtime compose, and this uh, newest version which I have talked about. Okay? So now let's run this application once again. And now let's see uh, what will happen. So again, we are printing those numbers, 1, 2, and so on and so on. Now let's put this um, application in the background. So the last number which we have printed here uh, was number 8, okay? And now let's see what will happen when I return to our application. So in this case, we're going to just uh, start over from zero, because with this collect as a state with a live cycle composable function, we are not wasting our resources when our application is in the background, okay? So this function will basically allow us to observe a variable and collect uh, all those values in a lifecycle aware manner. So this uh, composable function uh, 
will basically collect a state flow every time the lifecycle owner's a lifecycle reaches the minimum active state of a lifecycle state. And it will immediately stop when uh, our uh, lifecycle owner falls below this uh, minimum active state. Alright, so uh, that's uh, all I wanted to share with you in this video. So uh, you should keep uh, using this uh, collect as a state uh, with a lifecycle composable function. Because with that approach, uh, you will no longer uh, have to waste your resources, even after your application uh, goes in the background. So uh, if you have any questions uh, related to this video, feel free to comment down below. Also, uh, comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.